Bang. And one, right? And one. Keep them calm and businesslike. So you like that video kind of struck? Right. struck? We, we, but you know what? The way we, the way we were taught, this is when you can show your personality and appreciate it. It's, man, you know, guys will come out, tweet, tweet. Right. And they got the two double tweet, right? When it's like, it's only this three and one. Mm -hmm. But we love to show yeah. our... Yeah. We love to... and, and, and referees always say we have no ego. Yeah, that's a little bit of ego uh, physically presenting that, itself right there. Trying to feel like part of the ego. game. Ah. That's all ego. That's what that is. Yeah, and, you know, it might not be for selfish reasons. It, it's, I understand it's a little fun to, like, feel like you're in the game and, like, flush one home. But I just take a different approach at, at looking at little things like that and how other people could perceive it. Or I just find more strength in being simple. And under control and poised. What I used to find is that when I was early in the 50s, that I like to do M1 much more. And realizing that a lot of it is just a, uh, how you say, a game interrupter. Yeah. Rather than like really letting the game flow. And also, you like to show, oh, bang! Here it comes again. Here I am. Here I am. And you're showing myself. I'm and part like, of the game. I'm part of the game, right. When in fact, when you begin to learn that, like when you're not really seen and heard as much, then the game flows mm -hmm. and it's a much better game. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's other ways to, you know, inject yourself into the game. And I just think that approach of refs not feeling like they're, or they have to express that is just, it's not our best strategy. I, I'm always about staying calm and composed in everything we do because I think when we get too excited it speeds us up I think when we, we uh, speed up we make mistakes right so I'm all about just having that calm tempo throughout everything but it doesn't mean I'm not going to show strength and want to show a little pop I just find different ways to do it like I look at NBA officials when they uh, have an N1 like maybe it's this really loud play a lot of contact right and they're just there, nice and calm, chopping it home. To me, that looks way stronger than having to flex your muscles. Well, I've always liked the pro-am and the pro-style of fishing because of that. Their, their mode of mechanics yeah. seems to be so composed and so tight and so crisp. They're the best in the world. Sharp. They're the best in the world. I mean, uh, like we know like Zach Zubin from our area, Incredible. from Brooklyn. Incredible. And like you've seen them come up. And the idea is that, like, he's earned that. He's developed over time. And, like, now he's respected. He's done, he's done finals. And the thing about it is that it doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come, like, being showy. It comes yeah. up being, like, like, sharp, crisp. He's a perfect example, you know? And if you see Zach, tell him he still owes me a spot on the podcast. He told me twice that he's coming on. So I'm still waiting. <laughs> Yeah, but he's always in Manhattan. I mean, when I, it should be in Brooklyn, like the mm -hmm. next game, like Monday, maybe. Yeah, good deal. If he didn't do, if he didn't do, like if he does MSG, then he'll do like now it's Barclay, right? And now since Barclay is open, I'm sure they'll give him a couple of games. Yeah. But he, so he always comes to the metropolitan area because you know they know he's from Brooklyn. Sure, sure. He's earned That's that. pretty convenient. I know. I heard he takes a train that. to games or walks the games sometimes. I mean, it's pretty earn, cool. I mean, like when you earn that reputation, it's good. I mean, the the the, the, the crowd almost knows it. Mm -hmm. the fans, the coaches, players, and now you have like a certain rapport. And they see you out there. They have confidence that you're going to do a great game. That you know it's an even playing field. So that's what's good about him. And, like I said, this doesn't come overnight. No. It happens with time, it happens with experience. Mm -hmm. And you know, you own your craft. Absolutely. It's a pleasure talking with you. I appreciate you contributing to the Crown Rest Podcast, my man. Always. All right. Paul. My man. All right.